I'm going to show you how to make a doll camper using foam board and hot glue. Start by cutting out all the pieces for the camper and you can find a list of measurements on my blog. It's not hard to cut out all the pieces, but it does take a little bit of time. And before I start gluing the pieces together, I like to paint all the pieces and let them dry overnight. This way I don't have to paint it once it's all assembled. That can get tricky. The best way to color foam board is by using spray paint. Nice even layers until it's covered. The camper is an ocean mist and I needed two cans for that. Most pieces inside the camper I used brown boots for. The sink and shower needed the winter gray. And then for the floor of the camper I used pistachio, but you can also use scrapbook paper. When gluing the pieces together, I like to have the steps printed out so I can double check what I'm doing. First, take the subfloor of your camper and lay it flat on your surface. You might notice a little paint on this piece, but you do not have to paint it. This will be completely covered. Now take one of your subfloor sides and glue it into place. You only have to paint the outside of this piece. You won't see the inside. Now take your three subfloor supports and glue them into place. You only need to paint the outside of the front and the back. You're not going to see anything in the middle. When using hot glue on foam board, I like to apply it on the open edges where the foam core is exposed. Now you can add the second subfloor side. Just glue it into place. Now you can glue the floor into place and the base of your camper will be really secure with this half inch foam board. Take the back wall of your camper and make sure the outside is painted. The inside wall is the shower of the camper, so I'm taking scrapbook paper found from Michaels and I'm gluing it onto the foam board. Now it's time to add the large side wall of the camper. Apply glue to the bottom of this piece and sit it right on top of the floor. Now you can add the shower wall. Make sure to add glue to the bottom of this piece and the side so it attaches to the back wall. Now lay your camper on its back so you can attach the small side wall. Remember, I like to add the hot glue to the open foam board. So right here and at the bottom. Now it's time to close the front of the camper with a window piece and a bottom piece. These will be glued at an angle and because they meet at a point, you will need to cut an angle on the bottom piece just so they fit together. To do that, take your X-Acto knife and shave off the foam board at an angle. Work slowly so you get a good angle and you'll only need it on the bottom piece. Now you can glue on the front right side. You might want to lay the camper down to add the hot glue on the open cut. It's time for the window shelf. These pieces are brown so make sure they're painted brown and you only need one side on each piece painted. When gluing pieces like this together, cover your surface with a parchment paper. Now you can glue your shelf into the camper right under the window. This is perfect for your dolls to stack books on. The storage bench is also brown and I'm doing the same thing by assembling it before I put it into the camper. So you need to glue together the front and the two side pieces and then you can glue it into the camper before you add the top. You can glue the top on to create a regular bench or you can use these nylon hinges to create a storage bench so the top will open and close. These hinges work great with foam board and for light play, hot glue will work. For a heavier play, you'll want Gorilla Glue or an E6000 glue. Apply glue to your hinge and place it on the bottom side of your storage lid. Make sure both of your hinges are placed evenly. Hold the top up and let the hinges dangle. Apply glue to the back side of the hinge, then place your top on the bench. Lift it up and press the hinges to the back. Now you have a storage bench that actually works and your dolls can store their camping goodies inside. Now we move on to the kitchen cabinets and these are also painted brown. Apply glue to the floor piece and then attach the side wall. Repeat for the second side wall and then slide in your shelves. Now put together the mini fridge. The walls for the fridge are brown, but the door is going to be a different color. Again, start from the bottom and work your way up. 
Apply glue to the base and add the side walls. Then add the top and the top cover. I painted the fridge door the same color as the camper so it would pop. Lay the fridge on its side and have the door laying beside it. Now you're going to add your hinges. Apply glue to the back side of the hinges and place it on the inside wall of the fridge. Leave a little space between the fridge wall and the fridge door so the door can open and close. Now flip the hinges up, apply glue, and press them down to the back side of the door. You now have a fridge with a door that opens and closes. Now glue into place your cabinets and your fridge inside the camper. Also glue into place the wall divider for the shower. For the kitchen countertop, I gave it a base coat of gray, and if you flip it over, you'll notice I also painted the edges because they do hang off the cabinets. Now I'm taking a sea sponge and I'm adding black and white paint on the top of the counter. This is what it looks like when it's dried and you can glue it right to the top. It should hang off on the right, creating a table for the dolls. For the kitchen sink, I used a toddler meal container and painted it gray. You can glue it right into the open space. Lay out the bed and the bed support right beside each other so you can attach them using hinges. I'm attaching them using the same method I did for the fridge. Apply glue to the back side of the bed support and then holding the bed, let it dangle. Set the bed on the window shelf and the wall divider and then press the bed support to the back wall. Hold it into place until it dries and make sure that you can open and close the bed. Now you have a fold down bed in your camper that fits one doll. You may need to add a piece of Velcro to keep it in the upright position on the wall when not in use. Now you can add the doors to your camper. Glue the hinges to the outside of your doors first, then you can glue them to the side walls so they open and close properly. For these hinges, you do need to use the Gorilla Glue or an epoxy glue. Glue on the top of your camper. Now you can add trim around your camper. This also helps to hide any flaws in the exposed foam board. For the tires, cut out five inch circles from half inch foam board. For each tire, you'll need two circles to make them thick enough. Glue the two circles together and then paint the outside of them black. For the rims, I've provided printables along with some other fun photos to put in your camper. Using a glue stick, you can glue the rims onto the tires and then using hot glue, you can glue the tires onto the camper. One on each back side and then a spare on the back. And don't forget to glue on the front support so your camper doesn't tilt over. Decorate the camper with the printables and any nature stickers you might have. For the shower floor, cut a piece of scrap paper to size and glue it to the floor. For the shower head, I'm gluing together a few odds and ends and attaching it to a jumbo straw. For the water knobs, I'm gluing buttons to beads and I'm spray painting everything silver. Once it's all dry, you can glue it into place. You can place the shower head on the middle of the wall, but I'm going to place it up here in the corner so it gives the dolls more room. And don't forget about the drain. For the bench cushion, take a piece of felt and cut it to size. If you want it to have a little more cushion, you can double it by folding it over and gluing it onto itself. That way it's two layers of felt. Now it's time for your dolls to enjoy their new camper. Fill it up and decorate it with crafts that you've made. Give this video a thumbs up if you want us to craft a sleeping bag and leave us a comment below telling us your favorite camping activity.